What are you doing here? Well, making my second video about Cliff Blazinski, of course. Here. Let's grab some ammo. It's been taking me a while to make this video. With my channel here, I want to look at game developers in a different light, you know, point out some things that people may not know about them. But with Cliff here, it's it's kind of difficult to find aspects of him that people don't know about already. I mean, of course the guy that created a series with a chainsaw at the end of your gun. And it's chainsaw juggling. What? And blood and guts flying at the screen. God, it's so cool! Like, of course that guy looks like he just walked out of a Hollister in the early 2000s. Let's test some genes. Or he kind of looks like Fred from that movie. You know, uh... Yo, yo, the Biatch was like, what? And I was like, later on... That one. Like, of course he drives a new sports car. Of course he left gaming to open up bars. Bars are where men drink. And then that sperm came down. I mean, I, I couldn't say anything. But oh my god, I was gonna explode. And then, and then that one, that last question, with all of that nice stuff out on the table, and you guys were having this discussion about whether or not to quit. At first I was like, oh. I mean, it just makes sense coming from the guy who made this. I'm uh, putting this on, typically, we need to blow his brains out of his ass. However, would it surprise you to hear that He's actually a bit more mature than people give him credit for. Is he though? Side note, I just learned how to do that thing where you like put the guy's face on clips and you can like move it around the screen. So if I use it too much, I'm really sorry. I'm just really proud of it. A good example of Cliff growing up into uh, a beautiful, mature butterfly? Locust? Anyway, you know how everyone knows him as Cliffy B, right? Well, in 2008, 13 years ago, he actually stated that it may be time to get rid of that moniker. Time to grow up a bit. Another good example of our boy growing up would be his interview with VentureBeat, where they ask him if he would have done anything differently. And he admits, quote, Oh no, I was clearly trying too hard there for too many years, obviously. When you have a community that's more the quiet Reddit type of crowd, and then you have this kid who comes in with flashy hair and earrings talking shit, what is this guy doing? I mean, it's pretty clear here that Cliff is self-aware. He often states his unpopularity in school made him develop his, uh... Show me your true form. <laughs> Get it together, dude. Persona was uh, what I was getting at there, in case you never played it. His persona, Cliffy B's persona. Anyway... Going back to that interview, I really like this quote right here. Each person has their own thing and what they represent. I always just wanted there to be some younger kid out there who looks up and sees how much fun I was having with what I was doing and says, hey, I want to make games like that someday, as opposed to saying, hey, I want to be a football player or an astronaut. That's what I was going for. And to me, that quote makes a lot of sense considering who Cliff is. Like, if you look back to what he was saying earlier about how he was unpopular in school, you know, he just wanted there to be some kid who looked at video games and thought, you know what, that's pretty cool. And yeah, it's easy to talk a bunch of shit about Cliffy B's career past after he left Epic. I mean, he hasn't really released a whole lot of good games, or any games for that matter. He created a studio and then it shut down. But at the end of the day, I do feel like Cliffy B did a lot of really good things for the industry, and he did mature quite a bit from what people see him as. People always see him as that guy who was too cool for games, but I think that he was the one who made games cool. Hey, you know what? Cliffy B. You're pretty cool. The coolest? <laughs> Don't ruin it. Anyway, that's the end of my second video. Uh, if you did watch it, I just want to say thank you. That's really, that's really cool. Um... I should have my next one out in a couple weeks. I do, they, these do take a lot of time and I have a full-time job, so it's a little hard. But if you did watch, uh, thank you so much and have a good day. Bye-bye.